rubber game between the Giants and Diamondbacks at Chase Field. Use Merrill Petit's in search of his second win this season. Pick it up bottom two, our game tied at one. Petit getting Miguel Montero on strikes to begin the frame. And the next batter, A.J. Pollock, a similar fate. Bottom three with a man at second. Down goes Paul Goldschmidt. Now to go top four. It is still one to one. Hector Sanchez digs in second and third. Two men away facing Patrick Corbin. Hit into left center field, all's forgotten. Posey scores. Penn scores. Sanchez in the second with a double. And the Giants take the lead. It is now a three to one game, but the visitors not done there. Two batters later, runners at the corners for Petit. And he does it himself. He dumps this one inside the right field line. It brings some Sanchez on the ribby single. And Petit gives the Giants a 4-1 lead. Let's go top of the fifth. It's Hunter Pence who digs in to face Corbin. Pence, right field and deep. It is out of here. And for Hunter Pence, his 17th of the year. That's a strong man's home run. Giants sitting pretty with a 5-1 lead. Back to Petit, bottom six. Facing Miguel Montero, one on and one away. Montero to second base. Tony Abreu starts a 4-6-3 inning ending double play. What a snag here by Abreu to get it started. Petit would deliver six plus innings of tier one ball on Sunday, scattering seven hits with a career high 10 strikeouts. Now we go top nine, it's a 7-2 game. Heath Bell on the hill as he faces Pence and Hunter's big day continues. Ribby single right back up the middle. Buster Posey scores to make it 8-2. Pence finishing three for four, three runs scored, two RBIs, and a triple shy of the cycle. Giants take it 8-2 as Petit picks up the win against the team he pitched for between 2007 and 2009. His fourth inning RBI, the second of his career. Patrick Corbin, meantime, pitching on two extra days rest, but it did not pay dividends. He gives up five runs on nine hits in five innings to fall to one and four in his last seven starts.